Good day. Um, in this video, I would like to um, discuss the difference, the differences between a continuous random variable and discrete random variable. As you can see uh, in, in the screen, on your right hand side is one example of um, probability density function for continuous random variable. Okay, with the function given by x cubed over 64 and the function is defined from 0 to 4 it has a restricted uh, domain while on your left it's a it's a probability distribution function for discrete random variable as you notice i call them differently a little bit differently okay so because um the first one is probability density function while on our left it's a probability distribution function so by the word in the middle it somehow uh, somehow or rather uh, give away a clue on what kind of random variable that we are dealing with in the question so that is the um, second uh, difference I guess because the first one is the shape of the graph itself as you can see uh, for this group random variable it's just a collection of vertical uh, vertical lines okay with with their respective uh, probability and while for continuous random variable it's just a one curve in this case sometimes it might contain more than one curves it's a piecewise function it's a combination of several uh, smaller functions that make up a function but in this case it's just one curve okay so that is two different Two differences that we can notice okay now the next one is if you are going to verify the probability distribution function okay for discrete uh, random variable we just need to add all the uh, probabilities that we have okay as we can see here all probabilities of x equals 1 x equals 2 x equals 3 and x equals 4 we're going to add them now Okay, so P1, sorry, plus P2, plus P3, plus P4. Okay, so the values are namely 0 0.1, and 0 0.3, plus 0 0.2, plus 0 0.4. So if I total them up, it is equal to 1. So since the sum of all probability in discrete random variable in the probability distribution function equals 1. Therefore, the function given to us is indeed a probability distribution function. While in probability density function, we cannot just simply add the line. Because to begin with, it's not a vertical line. Okay, so we cannot just we don't know what what the length is. Okay, in this in probability density function, the probability of um, of the function is not the length of the line as opposed to this one, but it is the un area under the graph over a certain um, certain limit. So it might have it might have something like this. Huh? Uh, maybe we want to find the area between um, one point two and two. So the area that we want is the probability. So that is the second difference. Uh, the third difference. Sorry. So um, the sum of all integration over the defined function for the given uh, probability density function must equal to 1. So maybe we can start with defining uh, the integration. So the first one is minus infinity until 0. 
so until 0 of here you see this is one interval okay oops okay that is one interval okay until 0 in terms of x so they since there are no function the function is 0 plus 0 up until 2 eh sorry it's 4 up until 4 and the function is this purple purple function x cubed over 64 in terms of x plus integration from 4 to infinity in terms of x for this one the function also is 0 so as you can see over there the first integration and the second integration is merely equals zero these two are equal zero so we can just ignore them so we might as well uh, integrate this so we have x to the power of 4 uh, 64 multiplied by 4 2 5 6 okay and then we substitute 4 and 0 so we have 2 5 6 over 2 5 6 minus 0 therefore it's 1 so since the integration of the given function of the uh, over the over the defined uh, domain is equal to 1 so that is indeed a pdf for continuous random variable okay now let's move on to the next the next uh, characteristic for discrete random variable if we want to find the probability of x equals a certain value, in this case it's 1, it's, it's very trivial, it's easy. We just refer to the table or in this case the graph, we find x equals 1 and then we just find the value over here. So as we can see over there, the probability of getting x equals 1 is 0 0.1. So it's a no-brainer. But unlike discrete random variable, for for continuous random variable when we want to find uh, the probability we want to find the area under the graph so the area that we are looking for is when x is one yeah, sorry x is one so we want to find the area of this single black line so like for example in, in previous integration problem you might know how to find this area right let's say this is uh, 2.5 and this is 3 so for this one for this one the area is just integration from 2.5 to 3 for the function sorry supposed to be 4 in terms of x and then we just be done with it and then we get the area but for this one for this one the limit the upper limit is the area okay the upper limit is one and the lower limit is also one so the function is x cubed over 64 dx or maybe we can just copy this and bring it downstairs copy and bring it down here okay okay so so where are the limits so we want to find that okay so let's let's try it two five six okay and then one one okay we substitute one over two five six minus one over two five six and then we get zero so as we can see here when we want to find the area under uh, under the graph over a certain limit which is one which in turn the upper limit is just the same thing as the lower limit so the probability is zero okay so you see the difference between discrete and continuous when in discrete we can just find the the height of the line when x equals a certain value in small f but in continuous we have to um, 
it's just equal to zero. Okay, so let's move on to the next one, next characteristic. Okay, um, for this one, prob the probability of getting x between one and three, including both of them. Okay, so for this one, it means that okay, maybe we can use this this function to assist us. Now, uh, the question wants from one, okay, then circle until three, then circle. So it means that we what we want is x equals one, x equals two, and x equals three. So it equals p one plus p two plus probability three. So it is zero point one plus zero point three plus zero point two which is 0 0.6. It's easy. But for this one, we have to find the area over the provided limit. So the least value inside the interval is the lower limit and the greatest value is the upper limit. Okay. And then we're going to integrate them in terms of x. So x cubed over 64. So we integrate then becomes x to the power of 4, 2, 5, 6, and 3, 1. So we substitute 3 to the power of 4, 256, minus 1 over 2, 5, 6. 3 to the power of 4 is 81. Okay, 81 minus 1 uh, with the same denominator is just 80 over 2, 5, 6. Let's see, 80 over 2, 5, 6. 2, 5, 6 equals 5 over 16. Okay, so that is the, um, the answer for probability from 1 to 3 for continuous random variable. Okay, now let's change the interval a little bit by get rid of the equal sign at 1. So from this one, if you use the same... Uh, the same uh, PDF function up top here. What we want is from 1 to 3, then circle at 3 and empty circle at 1. This one means we do not want 1, we want 2 and we want 3. So basically this one means the probability of 2 include 3. So this one is P2 plus P3. So P2 is 0 0.3 plus 0 0.2, I think, is it? 0 0.3, 0 0.2, okay. Correct. Okay, correct. So 0 0.5, okay. Okay, now, but for this one, okay, this one means that I minus... Wait, I'm oh, I'm so sorry. Um, for this one, I made a tiny mistake. Yes, indeed. Eh, no, it's not. Hmm, it's correct. Oh, well. Um, what I'm going to say is not this, actually. Okay. What I want to say is, okay, this one is... This expression of P uh, from 1 to 3, not including 1, uh, is that it's like having this, the previous uh, probability, minus the one that we do not want, which is 1. Okay, so the answer is 0 0.6 minus 0 0.1. Hmm? Correct or not? Okay, correct. So the answer is 0 0.5. This is what, what does it mean? Okay, I'm, I'm just, I'm so sorry about that. Okay, now. Okay, so by using the same, uh, what do we call this? By, by using the same formula, we can rewrite this thing as P1 include until 3 include minus the one we do not want, which is 1. Okay, but... But, 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 as we see from the previous example here, 
the probability of getting x equals 1 is 0. So, this value is equals 0. Therefore, in continuous random variable, the probability of 1 until 3 not including not equals 1 is just the same as p less than uh, greater equal 1 less than equal 3. So in the, as we can see here, the equal sign doesn't really matter in continuous random variable. Okay, same goes to um, let's say p one great x greater than one less than three. This one is basically saying that I want to take everything, but minus one minus three. Okay. So, as you can see here, uh, the probability of x equals a certain value, one single value in continuous random variable is 0. This one is 0. This one is also 0. Therefore, these two are just the same thing. Okay. So, just highlight it for you to notice. Okay. Please take note that this uh, property is only valid for continuous random variable, not like uh, discrete random variable. Okay, so so I think that's all. Um, the differences between uh, continuous random variable and discrete random variable. Thank you for your time and attention. Assalamualaikum. Good day.